Well, many cities in Asia are rapidly urbanizing and typically a large number of people from around the country converge onto the city, often having little common roots with the local population. With the resulting housing shortage and land shortage, much of the existing fabric is demolished to make way for such high-rise, high-density buildings and hence dispersing and displacing the uh, local communities. And very often, as you can see here, they hardly contribute to a sense of place or identity. By demolishing all this uh, urban fabric, we're also erasing the buildings, the places, even landmarks that encapsulate much of the local memories and thereby again weakening the social glue of these societies. And these local memories, uh, experiences, social bonds and even local history are all the more important in such cities that are in rapid transformation. These bonds that are so important to sustain the societies, to give it a sense of identity, belonging and pride are precisely what we need to keep and not destroy. I would think that it is really urgent and important then to save and conserve our buildings, our historical quarters that are the receptacles, that are the crucibles of all these memories. It's important to do so so that everyone remembers. But of course, wanted or not, there are many buildings and cities that have long disappeared. Together with my students at the National University of Singapore, we've been working through historical research to reconstruct one such vanished cities, Chang'an in this case, which is current Xi'an during its heydays in the Tang Dynasty, some 1,400 years ago. A visitor to the Xi'an City Museum today can make use of this interactive software, navigate the cities, discover its multi-layered history, and visualize its lost landscape. We are also in the process of uh, building up a 3D database that, for these vanished cities, that encompasses textual data, um, maps, pictures of, uh, of uh, archaeological objects and, bu uh, and building parts so that we can build up a platform for open and public consultation. As you can see here, we have launched a web-based interactive uh, uh, version that is available online. All these technologies described here could be used to enhance um, our conservation of historic waters in today's cities. Another piece of work that we're working on with my graduate students is the conservation of uh, two historic waters in uh, Shanghai and Xi'an. Here, beyond looking at the uh, uh, physical um, buildings, we are looking at the social economic networks as well. I think it's just ins important to receive, the, retain these networks because this is what sustains the neighbourhood and the communities. These networks that are built over a long period of time and that sustains this community both emotionally, economically and socially are being destroyed when buildings are demolished or even when they are conserved, but without the original uh, users and, uh, and uh, communities. While we all know that um, the desired scenario is the conservation of the physical and the non-physical, very often conserving the buildings alone is difficult, let alone the, the networks. But although far from ideal, um, with the help of modern technology, handheld devices, all sorts of information, including visual, from the digital archives can be overlapped on these historical environments as well as radically transformed ones like the uh, Raffles Place in Singapore so that you could understand and reuse these layers of history and transformation as well as events that have taken place uh, in these areas. They could be social ones like this or history changing events. As I mentioned earlier, while the conservation of built environment and, and the uh, communities is a preferred scenario. Very often, it is not possible. And with the help of technology, we could reconstruct lost environments. Or it can help us enhance our, our history or help us reveal and remember our history, um, augment our sense of belonging and identity, which is so important in 
high density cities that are developing rapidly. So my question to all of you is, how can cities align policies, deploy technology and resources such that everyone remembers? Thank you. Good.